Colorado's above average snowpack this year is wonderful water to fill our reservoirs and knock down our drought. Though scientists tell our Brian Wendland, snowpack numbers can be deceiving because not all that snow makes it into our water supply. If you can get to Gothic when the mountains are snowpacked. It's a lot of work, honestly, from pulling sleds. Um, a lot of sweat's been lost <laughs> on, this, on this road. All that sweat is worth it. Couldn't be better if you look around you and realize both how amazing the scenery is here and as well as how important the work is that we're doing. For scientists like Heiste Bauer, the views are the cherry on top of some extremely important research. So today we're standing next to an atmospheric surface flux station that is meant to measure all the different terms of the surface energy budget. It's like your budget, except instead of money coming in and out of your wallet, he's researching energy transferring between the surface and the atmosphere. His team wants to know what happens to snow that falls, but never makes it into a river. Figuring that out will make it easier to predict how much snow will make it into the water supply. Making detailed measurements of the sorts of drivers of snowpack growth and melt over the course of the year. They're studying how dust accelerates snow melt and trying to learn how much of the snowpack is sublimating. Which is kind of the snow equivalent of evaporating. Uh, and that's important because if snow is sublimating, it's going back into the atmosphere rather than into the rivers. This is the last of DeBoer's two-year project. In year one, they worked through a drought. You know, two weeks ago last year, in the same exact spot, we had little patches of snow around. This year has seen close to record snowfall in some parts of the state. So we saw uh, the melt process is happening, they just happened, the timing was different. And that timing can have a big impact downstream. So for water managers, that's important because they might get a big influx of water when they weren't necessarily anticipating that they would get one. It'll take some time to dig through the data and publish results that could help those water managers in the future. But one thing DeBoer already knows is one good year of snowfall doesn't mean the Colorado River Basin is back to normal. Yes, it's a good year. We like to have good years and there will be an impact, but it, I think it'd be foolish to think that this will solve all of our water problems. For Next, I'm Brian Wetland.